Ooh. Now this sounds good. Okay, what is this? Okay, that says Rolex. I think it's a it's a Nintendo Switch. Oh! oh! Now we saw, I saw that kitchen cart earlier, watch out, and um, one of the drawers had stuff in it so I emptied it in this box real quick, so let's go through this see if there's anything good. I just threw it in this bin real quick, I sold the kitchen cart basically right out of the back of my truck. So let's see if there's anything in here. Oh, there's a cracked phone. Yeah, there's a cracked phone. There's even, like, you can see the inside of the phone right there, you know, this. Oh, wait, can I get a close-up? <laughs> get a close-up. Oh, beautiful. Oh, weird. So, what kind of phone is this? Samsung. It's a oh. Alcatel. Never mind. <laughs> I don't think that's worth anything. This is a... Some stickers. Oh, can I see? Nope. Woodland, California. What? Skate or... Oh, okay. this is... This is deadly. It says skate or die. It's a Las Vegas. What? Okay. <laughs> it's uh, like, oh, I'm going there. I broke my wrist the last time I skated, so maybe not. <laughs> hey, there's a phone case. Mm -hmm. That's not a phone case. That's a phone box. <laughs> okay, listen. <laughs> it's called a rock. <laughs> there's a rock in there. There's some um, keychains. We'll put them in the 50 cent box. So what okay. we got here? Bart tickets, 80 cents. Okay. Or, no, is that 80 or is that 880? 880. It's $8.80 cents. Ooh, Why wouldn't someone use that? 95 cents? Dollar 85? Um, charger in here. This is cool. This is a business card holder. Look, new charger. I don't think mom would want that. This is from the new phone. It's not a lightning charger though, it's a different kind, it's like a mini USB. But still, it's good. Throw that in. Okay, now that. Does that look like jewelry? I'm gonna open it! Yes, it does. Does. No, you I'm open. open it. Great! Me. One of you open it. It's jewelry. It's like the movie Coco jewelry. What is it? It's jewelry, but it's like the movie in Coco. This is oh movie. yeah, they're called sugar skulls. It's like you're do in they Coco? taste like sugar? Hey. Look, it's not. Okay. Look, I was in the movie Coco. You weren't. Well, this represents you. Is a little bit local. <laughs> Hey, check this out. I found this is a Nintendo charger. A Nintendo. I think it's for a DS. Hello. Oh, what's it called? 3DS. See? A Nintendo 3DS. Yeah. Remember we had to buy one of those. This is heavy. Ooh. Open it. Hold your horse. Open it. You do not talk to No, I like opening stuff. So can you just... Empty. It's pretty Camille, nice you, Camille, shouldn't you be wearing gloves? <gasps> oh, it's... Hanging think... with the homies air freshener. I think it's Dr. Dre. It's brand new, so we'll sell it. What's Dr. Dre? Dr. Dre is a famous rapper. I think it's a it's a Nintendo Switch. Oh! 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 It's not a Switch. It's a game. Oh, whatever it a is. A DS. DS. No, I have. It, no, it's totally. That's a great find, Camille. Great find. Thank you. That's where the charger goes to. Can we keep it? Oh, what? Please. <laughs> we have another one that's blue that we could sell. Well, that's a 3DS. This it's one is just a regular DS, I think. It's attached. It's a Nintendo DS. Here's Brain Age. It's a game. Hello, my name is Grace Chestnut, and I'm going through it. Oh, can I cut it? No. It's really sharp. Here, watch out. Okay, let's see what we got. Open it up. Close. It's not going to be that exciting. Yeah. Uh, okay. But, you know what? We sell clothes. We do. We do, we do, we do. Not the, Is that, that's for a little kid. The tutu. 
Yeah, for a little kid. It's actually a nice tutu. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it's got tags on it still? How much is it? It was $11.99. So right here I find this stool with the uh, cover that comes off and quickly figure out that this is a sewing stool and it's actually, I believe, an antique. Pretty cool piece. Listed it for 40 bucks locally and sold it rather quickly. That was a nice find and I would say that be on the lookout for that sort of thing uh, because it was sold very, very fast. All right, so... You know, I had a lot of stuff in this locker, a lot of stuff, and I'm sorry if it's going to be a little boring to watch uh, the unboxing. Some of you guys like unboxing, some don't. I particularly like it. I personally like it when I watch other people doing unboxings, but um, I mean, man, this the assortment of stuff in here is so eclectic and varied. It was like good stuff. Uh, a lot of junk, too. You know, there was a lot of junk, like here's some magazines what do you do with magazines? No one's buying magazines. Uh, some of the magazines I can donate to a neighbor who works for a clinic where they do art projects uh, for, I think it's like the mentally ill or something. They do little scrapbooking or um, I forget what you call it, but collages. They do collages with the cutouts, but you can't give them anything sexual. So like beauty magazines and stuff, they don't like that kind of thing. They want more like, you know, home improvement magazines and uh, Life magazines, that sort of thing. A lot of really interesting stuff, though. I mean, the gal that owned this locker, she had really cool taste. A lot of, a lot of like funky stuff, like leopard print and and uh, just quirky things, uh, which was cool. It was a lot of fun going through, and I did take my time going through it because uh, there wasn't a whole lot of trash there. You see, I found a little bit of jewelry, but it was nothing, nothing uh, valuable. No precious metals. A lot, a lot of stuff. Some of the stuff was brand new. I mean, the gal spent money. Here's some cool little glasses, but not high dollar. A lot of low dollar items, a lot of flea market items, garage sale items. And that's actually what we did. A couple weeks past this, we did have a big garage sale. Uh, I bought a huge locker right after this. And uh, that kind of capitalized on most of the garage sale. This stuff kind of got kind of got pushed to the side and we didn't sell a lot of it. But when I had some... Uh, people came in that dug this kind of thing they were like you guys got the best garage sale you have such cool stuff and we really did have some really neat pieces there's a few records we pulled out um a lot of just this and that stickers you know bags uh, the gal kept a lot of stuff uh and she spent a lot of money because there's a lot of there's a lot of new stuff in there um so here's a little just a miscellaneous bag of stuff I pulled out. A lot of smoking paraphernalia, if you know what I mean. But you'll see here, uh, oh, there's some cat butt chewing gum. And there's the evil twin chewing gum and instant afro chewing gum. Novelty stuff that's just kind of fun to go to, to come across and to look at. Stuff I would never spend money on, but it is kind of fun just to see it. But here you'll see, there were so many lighters in here. So many lighters. Um, the ones that didn't work, I just tossed. The ones that did work... Okay, so I do tend to hold on to lighters, and it's kind of funny because when Mike the Storage Auction Pirate and Alex and Michaela were over to help me open those two safes, you guys may have seen that video, um, Michaela noticed all these lighters sitting up in my toolbox, I guess, and, and asked later, you know, like, you don't smoke, why do you have so many lighters? And I don't know, I, you know, when I go get my coffee in the morning at the, the convenience store, I see how much lighters cost, it blows me away. Uh, for some reason, our kids, whenever we're lighting birthday cake candles or just a scented candle in the house, they come out, they get a lighter, it goes in the house, disappears. I don't know where it goes, but uh, those lighters somehow never make it back to my garage toolbox. So uh, I just tend to keep them. In this case, though, I mean, usually it's like one or two per locker. In this case, I probably found 50 lighters. This isn't even all of them. I found a ton of lighters. So I kept them in a bag up there and we just kind of pinch a little bit out of there, you know, like take a couple lighters out, take a couple lighters out. And again, I don't know where they go, but uh, we never have to buy another lighter when we're in the storage locker business. We never have to buy pens. We never have to buy scissors, uh, crayons. You see the crayons right there. Probably my kids got a hold of those. Here's a little wire basket full of tools and that red box right there. We'll show you a little bit more of that in a few. That's a uh, set of Mac tools, uh, just like drill bits and things. 
that was some decent money. That was a good find. Actually, that was kind of surprising. It didn't seem like this gal would buy Mac tools. Mac tools are very expensive. Um, like that hammer right there is just regular old Home Depot type hammer. So this is the set right here. So this particular set is nice. Only a few of them had even been used. I actually put that aside and was thinking about keeping that until I came to my senses and said, wait, I don't keep, you know, I think it sold for 80 bucks or something. I don't keep $80 drill bits. Come on. Come on. We could, we find plenty of drill bits in here. They're almost disposable for me. I don't keep nice ones. And there's some bullets. I've got a nice little stash of bullets going in my garage. I'm not sure what I'm doing with those. Um, here, my daughter came out to do some little crafts, test out some pens, I think. She likes, they, they do like when I find, you know, a little bit nicer pens and crayons and things. And these, I think, were some sort of gel pen or maybe they had sparkles in them or something. I don't know. Pretty fun. Now the box, good tennis racket there. I think we sold that for some decent money. You know, I pull out the little bit higher price items. Watch this. Needle board. Huh. More sewing stuff. It's a sewing item. It's dirty, but I think that's... Jeez. Forty-five, ninety-five on that. Yeah, that's 45 bucks for this thing right here. Incredible. Sold it very quickly on eBay. Or actually, I'm not sure if it was that quickly, but I sold it. I forget how much I would put it at the summary. Uh, and then just cleaning out the little doodads, miscellaneous things rolling around the bottom of that bin there. Uh, we never buy bins either in this business. There, I'm wiping out the bottom of the bin. Why do I do that? <laughs> I don't know. I like clean bins. When you have good merchandise, you don't want to put it in a dirty bin. Christmas tree stand, well, eh, those don't sell in April. Bunch of Christmas stuff. I'll say though, her, the Christmas stuff she had, like that right there is a Christmas tree, uh, the little thing that goes around, pink with black polka dots. That's the kind of stuff we found in there. A little quirky. There's some, I think, Halloween pumpkin lights. There is a ton of jeans. So you see over there, there's a stack of jeans on my desk, and we're pulling out more jeans. There's like a onesie that's like an animal print onesie. Uh, fun. More books. More books. So here we are, scanning books. Scan, scan, scan. I think this is probably 20 minutes of books. I just clipped it down for you, but you can get... All right, so here we're going through a little bit more stuff, miscellaneous stuff, a little makeup bag. And they have makeup, or not makeup, but uh, hair accessories like hair bands. You see in there, it looks like chopsticks, and those are those are actually kind of cool. They're high quality, you could just tell. I don't remember what we got for them at the, at the garage sale, maybe a dollar or two. But they're the kind of chopsticks that go in your hair to hold your like hair bun together. And uh, I mean, it's typical of this gal's style. There's the shoes that we found early on in part one. I think we sold those for five bucks. I don't remember what that was, but we do find a bunch of first aid type stuff here. And, um, you know, first aid stuff, I don't think that's sold at the garage sale, but another thing we never buy in this business is band-aids. Oh, now this sounds good. Yeah, watch this. Okay, what is this? Okay, that says Rolex. Yeah, so what? It can't be a Rolex. It's not. Spoiler. They never are. Not yet, anyways. Look at me looking at it like I know what I'm doing. Um, it's fake. It's fake. It's fake. So, it is a good fake, though. A really good fake, actually. I still have it. I've got a nice little collection of fakes, and that's one of the better pieces that I got. This one's not going to be fooling any experts, but it does look pretty on the wrist. I don't know if it works or not. I don't really care to see if it does. Uh, but here in this little plastic tray there, we did find some pieces that maybe they were something, maybe they weren't. I don't think there was anything significantly valuable. There was no like big pieces of gold. But to be honest, I actually took this stuff and put it in my drawer and later looted my drawer to go to the jeweler to sell a bunch of scrap jewelry. And that stuff got mixed in with everything else. I don't know what came out of this locker or not. Um... I'm a lot more organized now. Here's me just going through stuff. Going through, going through, making my little pals, sorting into my bins, putting stuff in the garbage. That's what I do. 
and I enjoy it. A lot of times I'm doing this, I have to have my music on the background because, you know, for like 20 years I had my own business and I always had music on the in the background unless I was on the phone. I just have to have music going. Um, it's something that's just how I, that's how I work. That's how I do it. And uh, music's not so conducive with YouTube. That's what I'm finding out. Yeah, if you have music on the background, you're you're kind of dancing into copyright violation area. So here I just prefer to put things on mute and do this little voiceover, which I think works. You guys can let me know if it does or does not. Um, but allows me to go through these unboxing and fast forward so you can see it much quicker. All right, usually I save all the sales summary for the very last video at the very end. But this locker, I've got a lot of stuff to cover, so I'm going to break it up a little bit and show you some of the first few pieces. This cherry blossom canvas sold for 15 bucks. It was really nice. I like that piece. This combination of Brooklyn and Marilyn Monroe, like collage type print, uh, five bucks locally. I don't know why I sold it so cheap. I don't remember. These chrome stools, 30 bucks. Now it's a little better. They did require quite a bit of cleaning up, but I was up to it for 30 bucks. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. This was part two. We'll get part three out very soon. And if you like, uh, I just want to show you this shirt right here. If you're an uh, Office fan, if you're a fan of the show The Office, you'll know what this is about. It's super funny. I love that. Um, but I found that in a locker. Locker wear. Nothing better. So, um, yeah, we didn't find a Rolex. And what the girls thought was a Switch for a second there was a DS. So... Not the great finds that uh, we were hoping, but still lots of really cool small finds. Um, they all added up, but we still got a lot of stuff to get through in this one. So you'll see more in part three it's, and some really cool stuff coming up as well. So thanks again for watching. Um, tonight's a big night for me. I'm not sure when I'm going to release this video, but tonight I've been invited to go with the, Mike the Storage Auction Pirate onto his um, onto his uh, live feed for the collaboration that he's doing with some of these other big guys. I'm really excited and also a little bit nervous. So um, if you haven't checked that out, it's going to be on the What the Hails channel. I'm going to be a part of that tonight. I'm really excited. So thanks again for watching. All right. I would just wish you good luck. God bless you. And we'll see you here next time on Locking Nuts.